All right, man. Derrick Rose is drawing more trade interest than Andre Drummond and will the Detroit Pistons make the same mistake with Derrick Rose with what they made with Blake Griffin and you kind of can say with Andre Drummond as well. Let's talk about uh, Derrick Rose trade interest and how it's rising through the roof. And I'll link some articles in there from Yahoo Sports. Shout out to Chris Haynes. He does an excellent job on Yahoo Sports. So let's talk some Piston basketball. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Did see they did lose to the Washington Wizards today. I think it was 106-100. But uh, yeah, Derrick Rose is now getting some interest from the Los Angeles Lakers and the Los Angeles Clippers. Not sure what Darren Collison is doing. That might have a, a huge impact on where Derrick Rose go, you know, or where the interest is from the L.A. teams. Also, Philadelphia is interested as well. And, you know, I heard it was a rumor going around that Derrick Rose just wanted more minutes with the Pistons and uh, that he really didn't want to leave. You know, his uh, cousin, uh, Dwayne Rose, is playing with the University of Detroit Mercy. He close to the University of Chicago and what makes him probably a little bit more attractive than their, uh, their, uh, excuse me, Andre Drummond in the trade market is because he got one more year left uh, on his contract. This year he making around seven. Next year he'll make around eight. So you got some security with Derrick Rose and he's playing well right now. And most Piston fans would say, well, why would we trade the guy that's balling the hardest? Because it's over with, all right? The core that you got, Reggie, Dre, and Blake, that ain't winning nothing. Not even Derrick Rose, you know, in his prime can carry this team out the mud hole. All right. For Derrick Rose personally, I want to see him on a uh compete for a championship. But I think for Derrick Rose, playing close to Chicago is the primary uh, goal for him. And if he wanted to stay on the team and they, and he didn't want to get traded, uh his former agent is is uh like a top chairman or VP, something for the Detroit Pistons. I would I would definitely understand that. But I got to do what's best for my franchise. And the Pistons are in full take mode. I don't care if they're three games out from the eighth seed. Um, they about to move Dre. They, Blake Griffin ain't coming back. You know, they, they got some type of exception for they, Blake Griffin contract where they can get $9 million back or something. And, you know, I think Derrick Rose is putting up phenomenal numbers. But if the team even makes the playoffs, they're not going nowhere. Even as constructive. With no Blake Griffin... Reggie coming back, I don't see nobody that missed the majority of the year coming back and, and just balling out his mind. But he do got some money on the table, you know what I'm saying, you know, for next year to get a contract somewhere. Reggie probably going to be in China and Greece next year. He might be in the G League. But for the Pistons not to make that same mistake with Derrick Rose is you have Derrick Rose that has an injury history. You have Blake Griffin with an injury history. You had... Andre Drummond last year that you knew that you probably wasn't going to sign and you kept him too late. So the the Pistons could overcook this and if they play if they keep Derrick Rose past the trade deadline, my pretty my I'm betting my pretty penny that an injury is going to happen. That's going to sideline Derrick Rose between the after the trade deadline into next season. So if they willing to give you Kyle Kuzma for Marquise Morris and Luke Kennard or whatever the situation in the first round draft pick, I believe, you know, at that point, you probably can bite the bullet on Dre or you can move Dre for whatever and just continue the, the youth movement. Christian Jones getting minutes, you know what I'm saying? So Yoko getting minutes, you know, you know, Kyle Kuzma getting, you know, comfortable with playing with Sayoko. So like I said before, you can't sit here and look at this from a business or from a family aspect or, a friendly aspect. If the Pistons keep Derrick Rose, they're going to probably commit the same mistake they did with Blake Griffin, where he playing really, really well, but you know his history tells you that he's going to get injured. And while Derrick Rose is playing really, really well, you know you have him under a minutes restriction because of his injury history. Derrick Rose probably feel like he can go out there and play 30, well, 35, 40 minutes a game, but his history tells you he can't. So, Tom Gores was in his best interest. You got a player that's popping right now. And they got a player that can help, you know, your team down the line. Kyle Kuzma will be an all-star in the East at some point if things go white. If you can have a wing in Kyle Kuzma and Selko, and that's going to cost you whoever on this roster, I'm doing it. No player on this roster is worth keeping. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. They're not winners. They're not going to win together. I know... People got their fan favorites. Oh, I love D-Rose. Like watching D-Rose play. 
and he's a good player, but what does the history tell you? History tell you an injury is coming. As soon as you ramp it up to 35, 37, 38 minutes, an injury is going to happen. And if he injures himself and he goes through the same thing with Blake Griffin, then you stuck with him next year, rehabbing, or you stuck with half of Derrick Rose. Trading wise value how now it's different. Now Blake and, and Reggie and Drummond was cooking and they was the sixth, fifth, fourth seed, and, and, and all these dudes getting healthy and they coming back and you really pushing for a, a fourth, a third seed, then we having a different conversation conversation. Then you rolling the dice. Then you rolling the dice saying they finally coming together, they getting healthy, they learning to play with each other. But guess what? Even if Blake Griffin and Reggie Jackson walk through that door, which it ain't getting happen for Blake Griffin, even if he walk through that door tomorrow, you and he is completely healthy, you know, and, and Reggie completely healthy, Luke Kennard completely healthy, then you have camaraderie issues. You know what I'm saying? Luke Kennard got better this year because Reggie wasn't there. Now, nobody want to talk about that. Reggie was taking shots from him. He didn't know how to be assertive on the floor. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie Jackson, Derrick Rose. He 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 really influenced a lot of confidence in uh in Luke Kennard. So now does Derrick Rose, Luke Kennard, Reggie Jackson, Blake Griffin, you know, Don, Deion, I mean, excuse me, Andre Drummond got to learn how to play with them again. It ain't enough time for this team to reach its potential, which it can't, because none of these dudes are all in, is always healthy except for Andre. It wouldn't be enough time for them for them to reach their potential and, and, and really gel going into the playoffs. So this team is what it is. When they're healthy and what you've seen for a short amount of time, they're probably an eighth seed at the best. And when you got guys that's all older, Dredgy, Blake, and Derrick Rose, other than Andre Drummond, and if the eighth seed the ceiling, then you got to blow it up. But right now, while Derrick Rose is garnishing a lot of attention, I would, put him, I would probably shut him down if I'm about to trade him. If I'm serious considering trading him, I would shut him down. You know what I'm saying? I would shut him down because you're going to get more for Derrick Rose at this point than you're going to get for Andre Drummond. You know, you're going to get more for Derrick Rose, and he's more valuable. And if you can get, if you can pull out a Kuzma, I'll trade anybody in this team for Kuzma. No doubt in my mind. Flint native, right, can hoop. He's going to get all the shots he want here in the next coming, and in, in the rest of the year. So you see what you got. You pick Kuzma, you put Sayoko on the wings, you tank for the rest of the season, you hope to lose some games, you hope to get lucky, get in the top five of the lottery, get somebody good. Get you a guard, get you a big fella, you start rebuilding. But you got the, the Derrick Rose uh, people who, who just, who just diehard Derrick Rose fans that don't look at it like I'm looking at it. They think Derrick Rose, in their mind, it's, it's fandom, it's fanatics. They believe Derrick Rose is going to lead this team to a championship. No, if you want to see Derrick Rose playing in June, you truly a fan of Derrick Rose, and you want to see him add, add some hard work to his, to his trophy case, you know, with his MVP, then you want to see him go play for a winner. And I Philadelphia would be interesting. You know, with it, how he's shooting the ball. They got a lot of interest in our players. You know, he can stagger with Ben, ben Simmons. Some things can be coming with Ben Simmons. You know, Derrick Rose can go out to L.A., but I really do think Derrick Rose wants to be close to Chicago. And I think if Derrick Rose talked to Tom Gores, he won't trade him, no matter what it is. He says he wants to be here, and that's where Tom Gores is probably messed up at. This is why he kept Andre too long. He loved Andre like a son. It was personal. When you're dealing with a with a with an NBA team, when you're dealing with corporate America, when you're dealing with corporate business, even when you corporate thugging, you got to leave in the trap. You got to leave personal feelings aside. You have to do what's in the best interest of your entity, of your business, of your team. You have to do in the best interest. And Tom Gores know that from the business world. It's like yo, it's like your boy. You know, he need to get around the corner, but he ain't got no gas money. You got to do in the best interest of your car and your tank. And same thing for, for Tavir. They, if Derrick Rose is the one that bringing value, Luke Kennard is bringing value, the Pistons got to blow it up. Now, what scares people about the Pistons blowing up and rebuilding while a lot of people are, are flinching at it is because of the history of the bad draft picks. You know, but you got to trust Stefanowski. Because, to be honest, Bruce Brown was a hidden gem. He got that right. We got to give him credit. He got that. And we don't know how much of it is Tom Gores and how much of it is Stefanowski and Malik Rose. Stan Van Gundy messed his team up in Jordan Bowers. All right. But Sayoko, they like they did a great job scouting. That's a talent. Bruce Brown, like it or not, he's a talent. 
He can stay on the floor because he can defend. He can play mate. He can get to the bucket a little bit. He got to work on his jumper. So they've been able to find talent. And right now, Sayoko look, looking better than the kid from Cleveland that we wanted from USC. So, you know, Ed Stefanowski seemed to be able to spot talent. And if you cut the field into 25% of the field, or less than 25% of the field, honestly, until about 15, 10% of the draft, and you give him five picks, and out the five picks, you got five really good players, I'm pretty sure he's going to find him and Dwayne Casey going to find a fit, and Malik Rose going to find a fit for this basketball team. They got to do what's in the best interest of the team, not for Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose used Detroit to get on the pl- get on the platform. Now he's got on the platform in Detroit and told the league, I'm back. The Pistons now have to flip him and turn him into a future because right now Derrick Rose is not going to be doing this for the next 5, 6, 10 years. He not. I don't care what nobody say. Kyle Kuzma could be doing something like this for the next 5 or 10 years. And I'm on the phone with it right. They can have Morris. They can have Kennard. They can have all of them, dude. Nobody on this team worth keeping except for Sayoko and Sivi and probably Christian Woods, in my opinion. Everybody can go. And you carry that Blake Griffin contract, you know, in, in, into the final year, and you see, you see what happened with it. But Derrick Rose's stock has risen where now he's a, he's an asset. This may be one of the best free agent pickups the Pistons had in a long time because if they can trade that into a, a, a Kyle Kuzma and they draft to the Sayoko, they got wings for life. Them wings can play with a little bit more weight on Sayoko, three, two, Four shit. In some situations, they could pay the five. They found Christian Woods. They got some. They got some talent now. They draft somebody really want, young and good next year. They gonna be an interesting team. That's how you get a superstar in a market like Detroit. Not a rundown superstar. You be bad. You draft high and you gotta hit. When you got your Luka Doncic and your Trey Youngs up there, you gotta hit. You gotta hit on those guys. Any of them dudes, Jason Tatum, guys like that, you gotta hit on. So. Like I said, a lot of people get mad because I tell the truth about Derrick Rose. You can hit the thumb down button all you want to. I'm going to talk mine. That's just, I'm giving my opinion on it. I could be wrong. I could be right. I could be anywhere in between. But right now, they can make a big, big mistake with keeping Derrick Rose. And history tells you he's going to get injured again. And now you're stuck with an injury player next year. or going into the point this year and you're not playing for nothing. Get you a player that can do something for you for 10, 5, 10 years down the line. But as Motor City Sports Talk, don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quest. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a uh, donation to the channel? That link's in the description. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Let me know what you guys think. I'll link some articles in the description. Philly, the Lakers, the Clippers, all interested in.